Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Anita Valens. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm living it up. Yay. Well, you sound like you're living it up, so that's inspirational. We want our listeners to live it up, and you can do that by calling the program today if you have chronic musculoskeletal pain. What does that mean? Muscle pain, joint pain, tendon pain, ligament pain, disc pain, back pain, neck pain, knee, hip, arthritis pain, just about Everything from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, that's musculoskeletal in nature, tendonitis, stiff joints, dull aches, basically orthopedics. And when you call the program today at 866-870-5752, you get a free book, Dr. Darrow's latest, called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, subtitled Regenerate, Don't Operate. And it's a great book. It's got 264 scientific studies. And you can also find research while you're waiting for the book. You can find research at the website at www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. You can email Dr. Darrow off of every page on the site and see him performing the treatments on video. So I have... Lots of lines open for you right now. You can get in. Don't wait till the end of the program. The hour goes quickly. The number again is 866-870-5752. We're here Saturdays at 10 and again at 1 p.m. And we have other things that we'll share with you throughout the hour that are going on in the office. And this is your day to get out of your chronic musculoskeletal pain. So please do call. Speak to Dr. Darrow about it, 866-870-5752. What do you think? Well, like I said, I'm living it up, and I hope uh, we can help all of you listeners live it up. Um, I've been doing something called regenerative medicine for over 20 years, And I learned about it because it worked on me. I went to a medical conference and I had a wrist injury from hitting the ground instead of a golf ball. And my wrist hyperextended backwards and I was in pain for quite some time. It was even hard to lift up a little pencil or pen. And then I went to this conference and uh, one of the stations was a section on teaching how to inject wrists and um, I got talked into having my wrist injected, and the next day it was about 50% better, and I was waking up to a new form of medicine immediately at that point, and then self-injected my own wrist a few times, and this wrist has been uh, pretty much perfect for years and years. I mean, that was almost 20 years ago, or maybe more than, yeah, that was more than 20 years ago. And I'm actually going to go out and play golf today and uh, probably lift weights a little bit. And um, it's working well, and it's worked on me all over. After my wrist, I then did my shoulder. My right shoulder was injured from weightlifting, and I had surgery on it while I was in medical school because I didn't know about uh, regenerative medicine. And I thought surgery was the answer back then. And the surgery came out very poor. My arm was swollen like a balloon full of fluid. I had a high fever. And it took a couple of years until I learned about the regenerative medicine. After my wrist, my next target was my shoulder. I did one treatment on myself. Yes, I self-injected my shoulder. And um, I woke up the next morning 100% pain-free. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that your pain will go away that quickly because it does with some people and with some people it doesn't work at all. We have to choose the right patient and the right syndrome and uh, the results with the, with the properly chosen patients are extremely, extremely high, much higher than with surgery. And so the byline of our show is take the surgery out of pain. You know, look for something else. The title of my book is Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. And the reason for that is because the studies in the book 
show us that surgery really is not the way. There are obviously reasons that we have to have surgery. If you break a bone, if you have cancer, something of that nature, yes. But most of the surgery should not be done. I am sorry, this is not a statement against surgeons. Surgeons, I think, are the brightest people in medicine. It's the hardest work you can do, and there's a lot of terrible side effects that can happen from it. So my hats come off to the surgeons, but I just think they shouldn't be doing these musculoskeletal injuries like meniscal tears and rotator cuff tears and things like that. I have probably half my patients, the new patients that come in the office that have had what we call a failed surgery where it didn't work like the one I had on my shoulder. And then we can help them. So even after a failed surgery, you can come in and get cells either from your body um, like platelets or we're doing bone marrow, which is going into the pelvis in the back above the buttocks and um, taking out aspirating the bone marrow, which has platelets and stem cells in it. So uh, there's a lot of ways to skin the cat, as they say. And uh, for the last year, we've also been doing umbilical cord stem cells where you don't have to drill the pelvis. But people get to choose what their healing method is. So, Nita, should we go to Leo? Let's go to Leo in Valencia. Absolutely. Leo, this is Dr. Mark Darrow, and I understand that you have a question about stem cells. You want to tell me what it is? Yes, I understand. I listen to you almost every week. Uh, my wife has COPD. A friend of okay. mine has COPD. His friend back in Oklahoma is going to a stem cell doctor, and he says he can take stem cells out of the stomach and put them into your body intravenously. And 30 to 35% of those stem cells end up in the lungs to help cure COPD. Are you asking me my opinion on that? What? Are you asking my opinion, or what are you asking? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. And, and have you have you heard of that? I mean, you've been doing this for twenty years, and you well, know, I think I anyway. I think I hear of I think I hear of everything, but <clears throat> you have to understand we're dealing with the FDA, Federal Drug Administration. Yes. And they consider injecting IV into Ravenous. Uh, when you put something in there, you're doing a drug procedure. So, yes. so, so far, they're not complaining about stem cells being injected into the joints, ligaments, or tendons. But yes. uh, it could be a more dangerous situation, theoretically, to give them systemically into, into the veins. Now, many, 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 many years ago, before I was actually doing stem cell therapy... I flew out of the country to have um, embryonic stem cells injected into me intravenously. I did that twice. And I didn't notice anything improved, to be honest with you. It's not a statement that it couldn't. But um, I would be wary about that. Usually the guys that do that charge a fortune. And most people that I know that have done it have had no results. There are also some doctors that will take stem cells or platelets and uh, spray them into the lungs by way of the mouth. And some people say they've gotten good results with that. But again, that's um, on the edge with the Federal Drug Administration. So it's not something I do. I am a musculoskeletal doctor, you know, sports medicine. So I'm not saying it's a good idea or a bad idea. I know that if I was in dire straits, um, I would leave the country and have that done. But the problem is you don't know what you're getting, and you don't know who it is that's doing it to you, and there's very little regulation about it. So I don't have the answer. I'm a very open-minded doctor. I think if something works for someone, that I might try it on me. Uh, I've been a guinea pig with all kinds of things in medicine. Uh, most of my life. So I don't really have an answer for you, Leo. Um, okay. Well, it's a very expensive operation. The, the doctor's going to charge him like $5,000 to take the fat or whatever out of the stomach and yeah. then get it in an IV. 
Sure. I don't, I don't know if he's going to say he's going to do it. You know, it's okay. just like. Where is this doctor located? In Oklahoma. Okay. Well, look, if I couldn't breathe, I would do anything so I could breathe. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, well, well, my friend you know passed I mean? it on to me. But my wife has COPD, so my friend passed the message on to me. Yeah. And I, thought, I would I would just do your homework and find out who the doctor yeah. is, check him out, and uh, check yeah. out other doctors in the community to see who the person is. Look on the Internet well, and... Hoping. Get uh, yeah. look up Yelp y e l p dot com. That's a good way to start, and then put in the doctor's name and the town they're in. Um, it's a good way to check me out. We have I've some bad cook. Yelp reviews, but we got mostly um, most. I've got, I think I have about a hundred and seventy amazing Yelp reviews, and it'll give you an idea what people think of me. So that's a good way to start. You can then look up the doctor on the their medical board and see if they have any uh, complaints against them. So there's a lot of ways to check out a doc. Now, so you yeah, said something well, about my book. <laughs> I've got your book. Oh, you've got it. Okay. I've given, I, you know, I've uh, loaned it out to several of my friends. Everybody I know has bad backs. And I've uh, yeah. put your yeah. name well, on it. 80% 80 people. of people end up with back pain at some point in their life. And most of it is just ligament sprains and easy to fix. I know that oftentimes people come in and they go, I've got to get a back surgery. I've been to several orthopedic and neurosurgeons and they say I have a herniated disc and they still don't really need surgery. And we fix them just using platelets or stem cells. So you have I to be careful. I've surgery for 50 some years. I have a degenerative no, spinal fluid that uh, all my discs are uh, dissolving. They're all way for thin now, all the way down my spine. Okay. Well, that and doesn't mean you I, have pain, Leo. Degenerative no. disc disease well, does well, not well, usually <laughs> cause pain. Yeah. Did you hear what so I said? I've had this, I, I would I have, have to examine pain. you and touch the area to see. Yeah. Okay. Um, where the pain is actually coming from. I don't diagnose by way of an MRI or X-ray. I like to have them to make sure I'm not missing something because, okay. um, as an okay. example, there's one of my patients who had uh, pain, out, not in the hip, but around the hip, and we got an MRI, it turned out to be fractured, and then um, turned out that actually it was cancer. So I like to get oh, wow. the MRIs and make sure there's nothing lurking there. But um, for the most yeah, part, we those. don't need surgery for these things. All right, Leo, God yeah, bless you. You have a great day, and thank you so much for calling in. Yes, thank you, Leo. We appreciate your call, and we want your call, 866-870-5752. I have lines open for you right now. The hour goes quickly, Dr. Darrow, so we like to urge people to call early in the hour so we don't get a big crowd at the end and not be able to get to everyone. So so I have an unusual question that just came in. Okay. Um, it, on the on the heading, it says hair loss. So let me see what it says. Uh, the person says, I'm experiencing female hair loss at 61 years of age, and it's quite debilitating. My dermatologist recommended possibly undergoing PRP. My hair loss is right in front and center. Can you have someone call me to discuss? Yeah, we will do that. Um, the answer to the question is this. The first thing we check are your hormones because and things like iron and um, thyroid, things that can cause hair loss. And it's very common for women, obviously, to lose their estrogen, and uh, that happens at menopause. But even before age 50 or so, when women go through menopause, they can lose their progesterone and their testosterone and their estrogen. So we need to, to get a blood draw and check that out and balance out the hormones and other things in the body that can cause hair loss. Um, PRP works great for hair loss, and in my book, which is called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, at the end there's a little chapter on hair loss, and there's some studies on it also there that show that that can work. 
it's not going to work on everybody, just like nothing works on everybody. But it does work on a lot of people and our patients who we do injections on the scalp uh, often say they're getting great results and growing back quite a bit of hair. So uh, that's something to consider. And obviously men have hair loss as well as women have hair loss. And the injections are very simple. We do them with a um, 30 gauge needle. It's very skinny like a uh, an acupuncture needle. We can numb the head with a lidocaine cream first so that it doesn't hurt too much. So okay. should I should I go on at this point? I have so many sure, questions. Sure, but I just here. want to give the phone number again and um, let people know a couple things going on in the office. And that number for you to call us right now is 866-870-5752. That's 866 866- Eight seven zero five seven five two. You also want to go to Dr. Darrow's website, which is www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. And you can see Dr. Darrow performing treatments on video at that site and email him off of every page. So do you want to talk about anything else sure. or take another email? Sure. Um well, until we get some callers, I can talk forever. Um, Ideal protein? <laughs> so, you know, the phone number here is 866-870-5752. And please call sooner than later because it happens at the end of every show. We have a full board and I can't get to everybody. Um, so it'd be great if you can call now. Also, if you want to call the office to get more information, that number is 800-300-9300. I'll repeat it, 800-300-9300. So I've got, actually, and this is unusual, I've actually got another question about hair loss here. Oh, okay. Um, but um, that's unusual in one show to have two questions come up like that. This is a, by the way, this is a woman who's 46 years old. Same same answers, you know, we got to check your blood and look for things that are out of balance like hormones or uh, different things like uh, inflammation in the blood. Um, well, that would be in the body. The blood shows it. A lot of people with low iron lose their hair, and uh, people with low thyroid function can lose their hair too. Uh, but we also do, uh, beside musculoskeletal and hair loss, we also do um, cell treatment, regenerative medicine for the face. It's called the Vampire Facelift, and uh, my wife, Michelle Darrow, does that. She's a nurse practitioner, and uh, she can use fillers like hyaluronic acid with it or without it, and it's a simple process, same thing, thin needle and injections of your cells into your face, which grows back the collagen, and as we age, the face gets gaunter. We lose fat in the face and we lose collagen. So it's a, a, a procedure that by the next morning, people look great. And uh, people absolutely love that. And men love it as much as women. We've got about 50% men and 50% women that come in to do that. And then we also have the Ideal Protein Diet, which is a diet that um, allows people typically to lose about 15 to 20 pounds a month. And uh, it's a ketogenic type diet. We don't lower your protein or raise your protein. We lower the carbs, and that's the key to losing weight. And most people can, you know, for the first week of the diet, can lose about seven pounds because a lot of it is just high insulin, which um, brings water into the body. So you, you do a lot of urinating the first week as the insulin drops down. And that water weight uh, just drops out. And then uh, women lose about three pounds a week. Men lose about five pounds a week. So it's a very quick and efficient diet. And I ask all of my patients who are overweight, who have pain in the hips and legs, knees, ankles, feet, to please get on a diet. If they want to use their own way of doing it, that's great. But most people... If they're, if they're already coming in overweight, they can't do it themselves, so we can help you do it. And it's pretty inexpensive. It's four bucks a meal. 
So that's 12 bucks a day. Pretty good deal. Absolutely. So let me see. Should we go to Janet? Our caller, Janet, in Los Angeles. Janet, this is Dr. Mark Darrow, and you have pain in your neck. Yes. Yes, thank you for taking my call. About two years ago, I have lifted a severe heavy table. As a result of that, I have uh, got some uh, estenosis on my neck. And now, after two years, I'm noticing that my right side of face is getting really shrinking the muscles, my right arm, and also uh, the forearm and my hand, as well as my uh, uh, foot and uh, below my uh, my leg, below my knee. It's getting really um, tiny, so it's shrinking muscles. I was wondering if I should have a surgery or this stem cell would be able to help me out. Thank you very much for your answer. Thank you so much, Janet. So yours is a complex question, although you don't know it. Um, Spinal stenosis doesn't typically cause neck pain or back pain, but it does mean that the nerves that come out of the spinal cord and go down the arms or legs are being squeezed, and the energy then can't get into the limbs, and therefore the muscles can shrink down. So if it's the neck pain that you need to get rid of, I can usually do that using platelets or stem cells or both. But if it's the nerves and the muscles are shrinking, you would probably need a surgery to open up, we'd call it a foraminotomy, to open up Mm -hmm. the foramen where those nerves are coming out and give them a chance to heal and breathe. So you need to see a surgeon about that right away because once that starts, it's very difficult if you wait a long time to get the juice back into the muscles, okay? So that's one that I would suggest that you get right to a neurosurgeon about. If it's just the neck pain that's bothering you, then you come to me. I appreciate your honest answers. And do you think that this could be, I have read about the peri Rombard's uh, syndrome. Do you think it has anything to do with this hemifacial that I have got, or you think it's just the neck issue that I am losing this muscle mass? I would have to examine you to give you more information. It's too complex okay. for me to answer over the radio at this point. Um, you think the doctor, because I have had several MRIs in the past, they did not. Um, they said just a stenosis, but you think time frame is an issue because my last MRI was last year, and I haven't had an MRI uh, for this year, and I'm just wondering it could have um, caused because of this lapse of time, it's getting worse. That's why I'm just losing this muscle mass. Would the doctors know? I mean, the surgeons, I'm sure they might know what is happening with my muscle issues. Well, it's like I just said. you got to go to your surgeon for this one for the muscle okay. issues, for the weakness. Anybody that you would recommend in the greater Los Angeles area that it's worth Oh, yeah. To. I know some of the best in town. You'd have to yes. go to www.lastemcells.com. Every page yes. has a spot where you can email me, and you can okay. do that right now on your computer and send me sure. a question. I'll get back to you today, okay? Thank you kindly. I appreciate that, doctor. God have bless you. Yeah, Thank good you. luck. Bye-bye. Thank you for your call, Janet. Hope you feel better. Our number is so 86... Is... Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, you can give out the number. We need to get more callers. Okay, 866-870-5752, 866-870-5752. And you were going to say? I was going to say that although the work that I've done my entire medical life is about regenerative medicine and that surgery is not helpful for the areas that I work on. It actually is harmful. But there's cases like this one with Janet where surgery may be emergency because if she's having muscle wasting and she doesn't get the surgery soon enough, those nerves can be injured for life. And then the muscles can get weaker and weaker as time goes on. Good information. 
Okay, you're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Grab a pen or a pencil, write down this important information coming your way. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and after these messages, we'll be right back.